Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'll be showing you a really effective way to create a colour palette in less than two minutes. Let's get started. So I have my illustration here, as you can see I've used quite generic colours for the leaves and the stone pot. So at the moment it looks quite flat and quite boring and I just want to show you some really quick steps on how to create a colour palette. If you don't know already, I'll just quickly go through how to create a new one. So at the moment I have my colour palettes here, but I want to go for a complete new palette. So at the top, I will click on the X here, create a new one, and I will name this Plum. and make sure that it's set to default. So here I have my new color palette. I have a lot of websites that I use to kind of get inspiration for different color palettes. Um, one that I recently found, which is really good, was created by an amazing illustrator called Gal Shear. I'll link him in the description below. Be sure to check out his stuff. It's really, really cool. He also uses Procreate. Um, and yeah, he's just created a really cool website, I'll show you now, called Colour Hunt. So if we click on Colour Hunt, and it's a really good website where people can share different colour palettes that they're liking, and you can see what's popular, what's trending, and what's new. So at the moment, straight away, I've noticed this colour palette that I really, really like. I think the colours are really harmonious and very warm, which is kind of what I, the mood that I'm looking for in my illustration. So I just click on here and you can either copy and paste the codes manually, which does take quite a while um, doing that with Procreate. So I found a bit of a solution. If you know how to screenshot, if you don't, don't worry. Um, if you press with your finger on the home page and the top button where you click at the top together, you can take a screenshot of those colours, that colour palette. So I'll go back to my illustration in Procreate, click on the actions, insert photo from my gallery, and I've inserted the colours. So now I want to put these colours into my palettes. And I can either hold my finger to colour drop that way, which does take quite a while, or a little trick for you guys is if you hold your finger down on this button here and press with your finger the colour you want, and it will just do it straight away without having to wait. So now that I've put all these colours in, I also want to maybe add a, a black. So I double click on the bottom of the colour wheel and double click to get a white as well. That's another little tip for you guys. So now I have quite a solid color palette. I really like those colors together. And now it's all about just experimenting and seeing how it will look with the illustration. So I'll just add a new layer underneath and I will maybe go for this orange. And now I can either color drop a colour onto the leaves and maybe I'll go for a red or if you go down to the adjustments and recolor you can recolor the whole illustration so whatever's on that layer straight away. You have a flood at the bottom and this so if any illustrations that aren't touching even if they're on the same layer can you can kind of do them different colours but obviously I want them all to be the same colour so do the flood all the way to the top. I really like those colours together and now with the purple because I think those three colours work really nicely together I'll start adding that onto the pot. I don't feel the purple is working as well with the illustration as it did in my palettes. Um, I really like the purple but I do feel it's quite dark for what I'm after so these colours aren't set in stone, you can kind of play around with the shades. These are just kind of a starting point to play around with. 
So at the moment, maybe I'll pull the purple up slightly because I still really like that purple. But and go to new color again and see how that's looking. And already, I'm. I think that's just working really nicely with the other shades. And I really like that. With my white, or the cream that was in the colour palette, I want to start adding maybe some details on the leaves to see how that works. This is quite bright compared to the red. And I feel that it's actually almost too distracting. So what you can do is maybe put the opacity down to just try and tie it in with the leaves a lot more. And I do feel as well, I can just go a few shades darker and add maybe a bit of shading underneath the pot just to make it pop a bit more. And I think that looks pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I'll be posting another tutorial next week, so be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.